I asked 60 friends of mine to review uh, their subjects uh, for A-levels. I'm looking at science, which is crazy because I have a large amount of science. And they're all year 13 students. So we're going to start with Biology AQA. Our first student rated this a 6 out of 10. The exams are my least favourite out of any subject I take. The mark schemes are so specific, so you have to be willing to spend a lot of time doing past papers. There's a lot of content which takes a lot of revision to remember. You go into a lot of detail uh, than you do for GCSE, but I rated it 6.5. You could, okay, fair enough, yeah, 6.5. Uh, because the content itself is really interesting to learn and the practice of course can be fun, but honestly, exams are like a five out of 10. Nice, okay. We got another six out of 10. It's a really nice subject. The content is interesting and it's much deeper than GCSE. But the revision is so boring, especially when you need to catch up a lot. And it's very long and the exams are weird because there's a lot of application questions. The actual content is nice though. Okay. And I'm just going to do another, uh, which is not AQA XL and um, AQA. It could be like Educast or something else, I don't know. But they're rated at a 7. I like topics, but there is too much of it. The exam board requires very specific answers. So we're getting specific answers as a uh, recurring thing. At Excel now. Okay, pretty low for at Excel. Um, we have only three reviews. So our first one says three. I rate it three out of 10 because I'm terrible at science. I have no clue why I chose this. And if you're good at science and maths, go for it. But if you have a humanities brain, probably not for you. Yeah, another three, sorry. It's really hard, like damn. The amount of times I felt like I wanted to cry in this subject. Lord, oh but Jesus. Well, I'm glad I didn't take it. <laughs> okay, interesting. Four out of 10 for, for biology. And Excel, come on, step up your game. Honestly, biology is it's just really content heavy. There's a lot to remember, even though from the beginning of learning. You think it's really to memorize and regurgitate the answer, but it really isn't. Sciences, you guys gotta step up your game, man. Come on, these people are going through so much pain and you're not doing anything. Okay? Okay. I personally thoroughly enjoy human biology. It's so, so interesting. I do find the exams tedious, however, as the mark schemes are pedantic and not often focus on understanding or applying the content, rather a lot of regurgitation of facts and definitions. I'm also not thrilled by 25% of the A-level being plant-based and ecosystem-based. Rating it a 5 out of 10, okay. And lastly, for Baji XL, somebody rated this a 5. Okay. I'm just going to quickly do Science Applied, uh, which is at Excel. Uh, my friend here rated it a 6 and said it was just difficult. That's all they said. Okay, we are going to move on to Biology... And then we only have one uh, biology OCR review. Nine out of 10. I love it, but OCR exam board is a sh head. Predicted an A, despite not revising. Haha. <laughs> wow, you're so lucky. <laughs> okay, nice, okay. We're gonna move on to chemistry now. Uh, chemistry, we have uh, two for each, pretty much. We're gonna start with AQA. So our first uh, friend, rated this a 5 out of 10. My head hurts every lesson. The content is really hard, but that makes it so much more rewarding when you understand it. Yeah, I agree. When you just understand something, everything just makes sense, you know, so. Another person rated this an 8. I personally like it a lot, but it can't be quite, oh, but it can be quite hard. AS is sort of nice, but second year is definitely harder. You've got to be somewhat good at maths and have understanding of abstract concepts. But in general, the exams aren't too bad and the exam mark schemes aren't too ridiculous like they are in biology. Practicals are fun and I'm glad that you enjoy it. Okay, we have another 8 out of 10 for AQA. Chemistry is pretty hard, but A-level is all about consistency and revising. Very true. The content is really fun, organic chemistry especially, as well as other topics like acids and bases. The exams for AQA are pretty standard too. It's really nice, although hard. Yeah, I think AQA is a lot easier and more lenient. Oh, not lenient. Easier than OCR. From what I'm seeing with, like, all the subjects, really. Yeah. Okay, we're going to move on to NXL now. Uh, we have two for NXL. One person rated this an eight. Very interesting, but also content-heavy. Needs time and revision. And another person rated this a six. I chose it out of necessity. 
but I have begun to enjoy the challenges. Problem is the quantity of maths content, it makes so much of the content, it is a real challenge to compete the A level to a high standard without taking maths A level also. Excel, you need to up your game because a two for chemistry. Chemistry is shambolic. That's all I have to say. Revising is important during these two years. It's very important to choose a subject that you do enjoy. Start early, don't feel stressed too much. Don't leave it to the last week or even the worst thing to do, which is to leave it one day before the exams. My advice is to review what you've learned every week so you remember more by the time you revise it, even if you can't make it a career. Also, y'all should thank Victoria for putting all this advice together in the video. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. And lastly, OCR. We've got a four and a five. Wow. OCR, you need to up your game. Okay. RB Salters. Don't know what that is. Hard to understand that shite. <laughs> I'm finding difficulty to understand what you're trying to say too. Gosh, you need to spend a lot of time with this. I do hella exam practices, but still fail. Predicted a C for summer, I've got an E this December. I'm so sorry. Yeah, chemistry is a pain. It looks like a pain. Okay, another person rated this a five. Chemistry is like a love and a hate relationship for me. Sometimes I get the concept quite quickly and I understand it, or it just confuses me for weeks on end until it clicks. For example, I got the hang of reactivity trends quite quickly, but learning the basics like electronegativity and polarity in shells was quite difficult for me. Maybe it was because I basically unlearned GCSE and was trying to reformat it. Okay. But as I get towards the end of the course, all the topics blend together and I get to understand them better. And so I feel I enjoy chemistry more now than I did in year 12. In hindsight, maybe I probably would have chosen a writing subject like psychology to balance things out because choosing all STEM subjects was a bit much, I think. This person also said, I'd say for the first few weeks in year 12, gorge how much you enjoy the subject and also the teaching style of the teacher. If you think the teacher is more of a presentation reader kind of teacher, you can maybe start planning your revision far in advance to try counteract this. And if it's a subject where the teacher's really important, and you don't enjoy the subject as much as you thought you would have, you can maybe choose something else. Lastly, we've got four physics reviews and we're done with this video because I know this is hella long. So AQA, my friend here rated this a nine. Amazing. I really like physics. Like in my spare time, I would have a random physics video in the background, like from Veritasium and Physics Girl or any other science YouTuber, I guess. I enjoy learning how and why things work and particle physics and mechanics problems are very fun to solve. Sometimes application can be difficult to see. For example, for me, magnetic induction and electricity is really hard to wrap around my head. But I still find it interesting and try to persevere. Also, having a background in maths also helps in getting these concepts down, uh, such as simple harmonic motion. Okay, an Excel. Uh, both of our friends rated it an 8. Good. Our first person said, Needs a lot of practice, super interesting, can be challenging at times, but if you have a good teacher, it shall be okay. So teachers play a big part. Yeah. It's really enjoyable. It's what I'm going to study at uni, and it covers a broad range of topics. It is difficult, but the core structure is to help you build around the harder stuff. However, the reason I gave it an 8, because the maths included, isn't too difficult mainly to cater for those who don't take up maths for A-level, but university-style physics is a lot more maths space, so I feel like it might be a big jump when going to uni. Okay. Lastly, OCR. 4 out of 10. One hell of a subject. Only pick this if you enjoy physics so much and get the content and how to answer exam questions because the jump from GCSC to A-level is massive. Also, pick it if you are sure if you need this for your future job, I agree. Um, especially the, if you enjoy the physics so much, because the reviews that we've read so far, these people actually enjoy physics, and that's why they gave a higher rating, and that's why they put more effort and more time. Yeah? I think that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, please comment down below if you are also a STEM uh, student. Tell us what you think about the science for you. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next week with another video. Goodbye.